Hey guys, today's video is going to be on this look which I have on now, which is just my sort of no makeup makeup look or my everyday go to look with not very many products and just lots of natural looking products. So if you want to see how I got this, then keep watching. The first thing I'm going to be using is a primer and I'm going to take my Max Factor Face Finity All Day Primer and just pop that, pop that all over my face. This just keeps the makeup lasting for longer and yeah, it just keeps it there all day. I've got a few spots so I'm just going to try and conceal them first underneath my foundation using my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade number 2, Core Medium. And this is just to give them a little bit of extra coverage. So only a few and just blend that in with my finger. Now for my base I'm going to be taking my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and this just gives a pretty light coverage so it's perfect for an everyday foundation. I've really been kind of rediscovering it because it was a bit too dark for me but I have a bit of a tan now so this is perfect and it's in the shade 53 Light Beige. So I'm just going to pop this onto my face using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. So I just pump it straight onto the brush and then go back for more when I need it so just buff that all over I'm just going to pop this hairband on to get my hair out of my face you could just leave it there but I'm going to do a another like half a pump just to give it a tiny bit more coverage For under the eyes I'm going to take my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade Ivory to sort of give it a bit of a brightening effect. So just in that triangle shape. And then I blend that out with my Sigma F86. I'm using a couple of cream products today because I find that they are just very natural looking so I'm going to take my Bourjois Bronzing Primer. Mine's kind of melted a little bit and the shape's changed. It's actually fine now but where it melted it all kind of just moved around so it looks a bit weird but I'm going to be using that. And then my Max Factor Creamy Blush in the shade 14 Soft Pink which is really nice as well. I've been really loving using these products for sort of a more natural look. For the bronzer I'm going to use my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush and just pop that in the hollows of my cheeks and sort of blend it upwards and then into my temples with whatever's left. Don't need too much there. And then I just take a little under the jaw, really not much at all though, just to give it a bit of shape. And then on the nose as well. And for the blush, I just apply that with my finger. So this is my Max Factor blush. I find these are just really, really easy to blend. So just pop a bit on my sort of cheeks. And then you can just take that same brush again to blend it out. And it gives just a sort of natural, rosy cheek. Okay, so I'm just going to set all of that with my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. Still absolutely loving this powder. Use it pretty much every single day. And this is my Real Techniques powder brush. And just set all of those cream products into place. You could go over this with um, like a powder bronzer and a powder blush but keeping it really natural I'm just going to leave it with the cream but then yeah if I wanted a bit more colour I would just put some more products on top. I'm also going to take my Rotary setting brush and just set those under eyes with the same powder. Set that concealer into place. And 
Okay, so that's all the face makeup done. I'm gonna go on to your eyes. Actually, first I'm just gonna do a little bit of my brows, not much at all, but just taking my brow bar to go and just a tiny bit of powder. You can kind of do whatever you need to your brows. I could probably just leave mine, but I like to just define them a little. Mostly just in the front, just to sort of neaten them up a bit. I don't want to go too heavy with the brows because there's not going to be much on my eyes so I'm just mixing these two colours in the brow bar to go and just literally putting a small amount where I need it. Okay onto the eyes, I just keep it really really simple but first I do need to prime because my shadow will crease no matter what so now I'll smudge proof primer as usual. And on top of that I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of Benefit Stay Don't Stray. This is the light to medium one. I find that I can't use this by itself because it doesn't stop my shadow from creasing but I have pretty oily eyelids so I pop this on more for cancelling out the colour this is slightly tinted so it just gives me a nice clean and smooth base which is particularly good when I'm not using much colour so you could even just do that for shadow I'm gonna put a couple of matte shades on so I'm taking my makeup revolution essential mattes palette which is just a really great array of matte shades which there's sort of good and bad in here but I'm just going to go for really simple so first I'm just going to take this shade here which is just quite skin coloured um, but just to sort of use as a all over lid colour so it won't show up too much but it just gives you that sort of flawless smooth base so just pop that all over the lid taking it up a little bit there really natural and then I'm going to take a slightly darker shade this one here and pop that through the crease a little bit just for a bit of definition It's very very natural but just sort of a perfected natural if you know what I mean and then you can like easily add to this if you wanted more but I'm going for a very natural look today so just use those two colors I'm going to give my lashes a nice curl and then for mascara you can use any mascara I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Black Mascara And just coat my lashes so you can keep it quite natural with one coat but I think I might go back over that once it's dried a little but it's really just up to you how big you want to go with the lashes so that's just one coat on each side. I'm going to take a little bit more. For the waterline, I like to just pop a tiny bit of liner in. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Glide On Pencil and I'm going to use the whiskey end and just pop a tiny bit of that in my waterline, not much at all. It's sort of like a ready brown 
you probably barely notice it, but I just like to frame the eyes a little. And then for lower lashes, it's going to be my number seven Stay Perfect Mascara, as always. Okay, lastly for lips, I'm just going to take a little bit of gloss, and this is my Maybelline Color Sensational Shine Gloss in Cashmere Rose. And this just gives a bit of peachy pink colour to the lips. But there's not... You can have these quite sheer, so I'll just put one coat on and that will be it. Just add a bit of shine. Okay, so that is my very simple sort of everyday, no makeup makeup type look, which I just think looks really natural. You can tell you're wearing a bit of makeup, but it does look very natural and I just love it because it's just quick and easy. If I wasn't talking through this, I could just do it so quickly and be out the door. So it's perfect for that sort of day-to-day -day errand running, that kind of thing. So yeah, this is the look. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one, bye!